Sandy here, quite an excited Sandy. I'm sorry if I'm slightly shouting in this video, <laughs> but I've had a shift inside recently which has helped everything in my life just start to get better. You know, my business is expanding, the projects I'm working with are, are flourishing, and I'm just feeling so much better because I'm speaking more boldly about the things that I care about, about the things that I know are possible for the world, and, uh, and that's having a magnetic effect on everything I'm doing. So, you know, and that makes things easier because it's less hard work. You know, I'm not doing any extra work to have um, over 12,000 views per month on this YouTube channel, to have people joining my Empower business, to have daily subscribers to my email list. You know, I haven't done any extra stuff. I've just changed inside. And, and when you change inside, you know, it changes everything so much more quickly because it's like you're changing the, the program um, that prints stuff out, you know. Uh, T. Hervecker, he talks about how your life is a printout of what's going on here. So when you're always just trying to change the printout, you know, it's really hard work because nothing much has changed in the program, but when you change your program, you know, the printout changes instantly. And, and that's what I've seen. So I realized that a lot of people won't allow themselves to have the shift that I've had because they've got a major hang up about something which is what I'm going to tackle in this video and I hope that watching it will help you get rid of that obstacle if, you're, if you've got it because I know that I've had it unconsciously sometimes and, and that obstacle is that people assume that if you're going to share yourself with the world you know whether that's through speaking you know or in meetings or making videos or blogging that you know, they assume that if you're doing that, it's because you want to be a star, or that if they did it, they'd have to become a star, or that they have to be as good as a star. And, and there's all this stuff, you know, the word star, when I say that, what do you think of? I bet you don't have very favorable connotations. <laughs> you probably think of someone who's like power hungry, uh, desperately wanting to be noticed, uh, needs to be the center of attention. You know, it has a lot of negative associations for people. And, um, and so when I say share yourself with the world, I've noticed that that happens in people's minds. You know, I can just feel it. And, uh, and what I've realized is that, you know, sharing yourself with the world actually goes way beyond that. And that becoming a star is, is actually a really, like, it's like a really small version of it. And, and if that's your, your ultimate aim, it's actually probably not as, as transformational as just being willing to share yourself. And why do I believe that? Well, have a think about people that you think of as stars, you know, like uh, Madonna, Britney Spears, you know, I'm not very trendy am I, Miley Cyrus, you know. A lot of stars have this image that they have to live up to and this image they become known for. And and what can happen is that, you know, they, they feel like they're not really being themselves because that's not necessarily their true selves, it's an image that's worked for them to become a star. And then it's like they, they feel trapped because they have to live up to that and, you know, there's all kinds of issues there. And so, you know, when you're actually willing to start the journey of becoming comfortable with being yourself, not having to fit any kind of image or persona, um, not having to be perfect, not having to live up to what other people have wanted for you or expect you to be and when you're just willing to start to be yourself you change from the inside and I know that sounds cheesy but I don't care <laughs> uh, you change because it's like coming out of a box and, and that's how I've experienced it you know I remember being at school and being so frustrated with myself because I would see people that were confident you know other kids uh, friends and, and sometimes not friends because you know I just wasn't cool enough um, and I would see how confident these other people were and it annoyed me because I knew that I could be like that and I felt literally like Clark Kent you know where you as if Clark Kent knew he could be Superman but something was stopping him from becoming Superman and I remember that feeling so distinctly. I even remember specific instances at school in, in our playgrounds and getting the school bus and and just feeling really crap about myself and that got worse as I got older you know I even had a speech problem where my words would start to jumble up and I would fluff them and and I knew people were, were looking at me like what's going on with her you know what what's why can't she um, 
but you know, she seems pretty intelligent. Why can't she just spit out her words? And so I actually felt very stupid around people a lot of the time and uh, was a bit of a loner to be honest, you know, like several people would say to me, you should go out more and have more friends and I just, but that wasn't something I really enjoyed because I was so horrible to myself that it was like going in to be, you know, going into a boxing match when you're a crap boxer is <laughs> how it felt to me. So I'm rambling slightly but to pull it back to what I was saying, since I've been blogging and, and making videos and, and being willing to be myself, everything in my life has started changing because all the, the horrible self-critique I had has started to evaporate and it's literally like coming out of a cocoon and becoming a butterfly, you know, more cheesy metaphors but it's just the best way to describe it, you know, and, and for me that goes way beyond becoming a star because it's becoming yourself, it's becoming the change you would like to see in the world because I don't want any young people I know to go through what I went through you know, and it makes me teary-eyed even just to think about it it's just not a fun way to live and I was talking to someone yesterday who's joined my team my blogging team about this and, and how in France in particular and maybe you can relate from whichever country you're from there's a huge culture of, of testing children and, and uh, and, and children get tested out of 20 all the way through school here. I actually grew up in England so I didn't have to go through that but um, you know so kids actually become tagged as like a 10 out of 20 boy or a 13 out of 20 girl and, and, and there's so much fear of being laughed at, being judged by other people that it really holds people back you know on such a huge scale and so when you see people that are, have gone beyond that it's like a, a light in the darkness, you know, the, the friend of mine who was like that light, um, oh, <laughs> this topic makes me really teary-eyed, I'm sorry. <laughs> and so as I was saying, you know, that the person for me that was like that light, it was actually a friend of mine, Abel Gonzalez, who was talking about his Inspiration Challenge where he made a video do, of doing something brand new every day for a year and filmed it. And he said a magic sentence in a webinar about that, which was that the more he did it, the more he, he didn't care what people thought, and he, it was like he was coming out of a box, you know, I'm paraphrasing slightly. But when I heard that, and I've spoken about it before, but it's just had such a big impact on me, I just really feel this need to pay it forward. But um, I just saw how what he was saying was so true, and I knew that if I did something similar, I would have a similar result and I would stop feeling like that crappy Clark Kent, you know, not being everything you can be. And, uh, and it worked, you know, a, a year later, just over a year, making videos, over 300 of them, I've gone through such a huge transformation and it's just, it's not even finished, you know, it keeps, it, it keeps getting bigger. So there are a lot of people who won't even allow themselves to go on that journey because they think it means they have to be a star. So what I want to say to you is, what if it is it goes way beyond that? You know, what, what if that's just the way that this world, our reality functions? You know, if you're going to become well known, then you become a celebrity. But what I would invite you to look at is, you know, that can that's just a very that's just one version of it. And if you're really willing to open your eyes and to see beyond that, you know, becoming yourself is actually even more rewarding. I would say and you'll become like that light for other people who haven't felt the courage or haven't felt encouraged does, does that make sense? or supported to do that and there are millions of people who that applies to so you know I hope this has helped you in some way if you'd like to work with me and my team I work with Abram who's, who co-founded the team then click on the link below this video because you know so much more is possible sometimes than we can see right now where we are. So if that's you, please know that there is a place where you can be supported to go on that journey um, by people who have been on the journey, who are on the journey, and that you don't have to do it alone, and that you can actually have support and encouragement, because I know that for me, that was a huge change, that was um, something I haven't really had before, and, and that's really helped me. So, you know, if this speaks to you, click on the link below this video, 
and you don't have to become a star, you just have to become who you are, and that rhymes. <laughs> if you like this video, please like it and share it, and I shall see you soon.